Good morning, you all. How are you? Good. Um, I am a coastal scientist. So I'm going to give you some information what is the climate change and how it impacts on communities through the natural disasters. Maybe my talk completely different from my previous uh, scientist from Nepal. So I would like to ask you one question. What is climate change? What is climate change? How can we describe it? Temperature Well done. So temperatures, rainfall trends, and humidity, the combined effect of uh, main these three events we call as a climate change. So here in the UK, do we get your floods? Mm -hmm. And hurricanes? Mm -hmm. Why? Yes, when the sea surface temperature is more than 27 degrees, then only we get the hurricanes. But here in the United Kingdom, our sea surface temperature is in between 16 to 18 up to next 100 years. So we are very safe. However, we experience hurricane winds due to the climate change. And then high winds, as I told, definitely we are getting. And heat waves, yes, as Paul mentioned, we experienced very recently about the heat waves. There is no need to go to anywhere to get a heat. So already we are getting here. And landslides, <coughs> do you know the landslides? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are losing the some um, uh, land of the laws at all of the sudden. Mm. That is called as a landslides. Here in the United Kingdom, we are experiencing coastal landslides. Next slide, please. Did you remember this one? Yeah. <clears throat> so this is the massive example of the climate change and high sea level rise. So this was happened in 2014 in Devon. So can we control the natural disasters? Not at all. But we can minimize the impact of the natural disasters. So by doing a good activities. So next slide, please. Did you remember this one? Yeah. This is one of my favorite <coughs> pictures as a coastal scientist, but it is not a good in the research terms. But it was happened in Aberystwyth, which is one of the Welsh cities. So I have visited a number of times this site. Several times I have seen coastal wall was damaged. So I asked the, some of the coastal engineers why you are constructing repeatedly this coastal wall and why it happened here. We have found based on our research, we cannot control the waves in that particular geographical area, but we can minimize the impact of the waves. So we cannot control 100%. That's why it happened. So a lot of coastal properties are were damaged in 2014, of course, in several occasions, because in this area, the um, uh, waves are very high because of climate change. Next one, next please. Did you remember? <coughs> Where it is? Camshire, mm -hmm. near to Southampton. So I went to these areas. These, uh, these photographs are my original photographs. I conducted the scientific as well as the community survey as well. We have received very entirely different results. In the scientific results, we have found that this total coastal area is very high vulnerability. In the near 20 to 30 years, majority of the coastal properties will crumble into the sea. But when I have surveyed the people, they told, no, Komali, what you are saying, we don't believe it because we are living nearly 50 to 70 years, means 70 years. Because I have understood they are emotionally connected with that place, even though it is a highly vulnerable, they don't want to vacate the, those areas. So that is a strong bonding between the place and the people. Come on, you have a minute and a half left. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next slide please. This is the very, maybe you have a information on this one? By 2050, our Lancashire region will be under the water. 
because of the climate change, especially Blackpool and Fleetwood and other areas, even in the half of the part of the Preston. Of course, this was um, uh, done by uh, Climate Central, but we are going to once again doing the research in the next six months based on our methodology. So because of climate change and sea level rise. Next slide, please. So because of climate change and disasters, what will be happen? Loss of life and displacements. Because of across the world, recently I visited the Philippines for the United Nations event. I am one of the experts for them. When we stepped into the Philippines, uh, we experienced the super typhoon. So half of the part in the city center area was under the water for some of us. And poor health, I have seen several people after the disaster, they suffered for mental health problems because they lost their life, means their relatives, they lost their houses and everything. And food insecurity as well. So because of uh, coastal erosion and flooding, um, agriculture will be affected. And psychological problems as I told. So for all to avoid these problems, what we can do? <coughs> We can minimize the impact of the uh, impact of the climate change on natural disasters. Of course, at some point we need a climate change, but we cannot control 100%. But we should need to uh, try to reduce the impact of the climate change, like a greenhouse gases and other associated things. This is all about the, my talk. Did I finish in complete <laughs> six minutes time? I am sorry, I have you only six minutes time. Thank you. Thank you.